Hi, welcome to the soldering tutorial here. Um, the reason we're doing this is we've had quite a few returns of items with pretty bad uh, soldering on them. Right, now as you should be able to see on there, there's uh, some rather shocking uh, examples of soldering. And these headers on the end, or somebody's tried to solder those on after they soldered the ID2 onto the top of the breakout board. And you see the pins in there are somewhat uh, poorly soldered. Okay, this is a, a close up of a uh, ID2 breakout board that we've had sent to us. Uh, as you'll see in the picture, or hopefully be able to see, the legs down here, even though they are giving you some contact, they're by no means uh, soldered correctly. You should also be able to see on the end there the header has got a gap but that was caused by the customer trying to solder from the top he actually hadn't thought about the order of assembly with these boards you put the headers in first and then from there put the tag itself on. This is a, a small board that I have already started to solder this button onto. Now what I'm going to try and do if this will sit still for me is solder the other connections. Right now, the correct way to, to solder with just normal leaded solder is to put a small dab or solder onto the end of your solder again. What this will do is give you a, a bead of solder that can hug onto the component leg and the copper track. You bring those in to hold for both, wait for a couple of seconds, and bring the solder in from the opposite side apply a small amount, wait for a couple of seconds, then remove your soldering iron. So we'll do that again, a small bead. In, let both of them heat up, apply solder to the opposite side, wait for a couple of seconds, and then come out. And what you will see there is a nice, clean solder joint. Now right, this solder joint on the left hand side maybe has a little bit too much solder on it it should be shaped similar to a volcano with concave sides whereas the one on the left has got more convex sides they're more bulging out than bulging in that's how simple it is to solder just using normal leaded solder and that's a correct placement with the soldering at the base of the leg of the component or in this case a pin being a, a switch that's pushed through. The solders apply to the opposite side of the leg and the pad. Let it flow, take the solder away, let the solder iron sit for a second or so, then remove it, let your product cool down so you don't burn yourself. Now to do the soldering I normally wear a magnified headset. Now generally if you're, you're looking at something and you're not sure if it's electrically sound, just reflow it. And by reflowing, I just mean hold the soldering iron against it for a second or so till the solder goes molten and then remove the soldering iron again. Generally, you can do this once or twice. Any more than that, you need to remove the solder. And generally, you would use something like solder wick, which again, we sell on the website. And there's some in the, the vision there you would hold this against the the solder blob 
heat up the wick with your soldering iron and it does exactly what it says, it wicks the solder away, sort of absorbs it and then you just remake your joint with fresh solder.